Hello and welcome to, well, unfortunately, this buildable lot does not have an address. However, it is between 563 County Route 12 and 553 County Route 12, right outside the village of Phoenix. This lot is 1.4 acres. It has got a road frontage of 145 feet. <clears throat> I'm going to show you the, the map in just a moment here so that you can see just exactly what it looks like. Now that's the one with the arrow with it, okay, <laughs> just in case you get confused. Now there's only one problem with this lot. It's not that it's not buildable, it is, and that is, is that the restrictions in this town make it that you have to have 200 feet of road frontage. This has 145 feet. And that's the reason why we have it on the market, not for $15,000 or $12,000, but for $8,000. This is a residential area. There's a house over there, and there is a house over here. And just to show you what's behind you, more woods, and there's a house tucked away back over in there. That right there is a Nida River Road, okay? And if you continue this way, you're going to go right into the village of Phoenix. You're right near the water. Matter of fact, you would have a water's view from here. 1.4 acres. Uh, there's some a little bit of poison ivy down there, so I'm not going to attempt to uh, walk the property. But I'm going to show you the sides of it in just a moment. Before we do, I just want to point out that there are stakes at each end of the property. These were placed by our company, not by a surveyor. They are only approximate, but it's held there to help you to identify the property and get a feel for um, what it's about. All right, let's go take a look at this. I'm going to look at this. We're going to go over here on the side. I'm going to go down on the side here, and we're just going to take a peek in and take well, a look. I went on the side of the property, and I decided to venture in. I'm inside the interior of the property, and I'm not sure what to do next. But as I'm looking around here, I'm seeing that there's a lot of immature trees, one to three inches in diameter. There's a few trees that are six, seven inches in diameter, okay? So you've got some mature trees that are already, you know, when you clear it away, you could leave those. That's one idea. The property is, is flat, so there's not really a whole lot of excavating other than the trees that you need to do. That's where the road is, where we were looking in, into the interior of the property just earlier in this video. And I'd like to point out that just because this has 145 feet doesn't mean that you can't build in this. You do have to get a variance, as I mentioned earlier, but a variance is nothing more than a two-month process where you go before a board with some paperwork and ask permission to uh, build your dream home um, on a on, on an area where there's houses around it, okay, with 145 feet of frontage. And personally, I believe the likelihood is very high that you'd be able to do that. But the great thing about the way you can set up the... Um, the contract and the terms is that you don't have to buy it if you can't get that approval. And at $8,000, wow, what a price. That's the reason why we we adjusted the price right off the bat so that it would give you folks an extra incentive to take a look at this property. There's lots of land out there for sale, but this one is very nice and it's not very far from everything. All right, your next step now is to come out and take a look at the property. We've got stakes out here, we've got a sign, and uh, then contact your realtor. Or contact your realtor first and have them bring you out here if you'd like. All right, thanks for stopping by, and thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.